Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at fluids and units within those equations that we use for fluids. In previous videos, we remind ourselves that we already encountered the concept of pressure, which is force divided by area, and we saw that that had the units of kilograms per second square per meter. Now, how does that relate to fluids? Well, first of all, we have an equation that determines the pressure inside a fluid at a dist or the depth h below the surface. And the equation is pressure equals rho gh, where rho is the density of the fluid, g is acceleration due to gravity, and h is the depth in the fluid. Will that have the same units as pressure there? It should, so let's find out. So if we look for the units, first of all, density has the units of, well, that's kilograms, mass per unit volume, so that's kilograms divided by meters cubed, G is acceleration. Acceleration has units meters per second squared. And height, that has linear units of meters. Now that should collapse down to what we have over there. Let's see if it does. Well, we have meters times meters in the numerator and meters cubed in the denominator. So these two cancel out two of those. And that then collapses down to kilograms per meters times second squared. And except for the order, it's exactly the same as what we have over there. So you can see those are indeed the units of pressure. When we look at Bernoulli's equation, notice that the first term in, on each side of the equation is the term of pressure, which of course should have units of kilograms meters uh, per meter per second squared. And then here, the second term, notice that is exactly the same as what we have over there, which we just showed that also has the same units of kilograms per meter per second squared. Now the question is, does the third term also have the units of pressure? Well, let's find out. So if we take this term, one half rho v squared, and we find the units for that, the units for density, well, that would be kilograms per cubic meter, and the units for velocity, well, that would be meters per second, but since it's velocity squared, we have to square the meters and the seconds. And then again, when we simplify that, notice that the meters squared cancels out two of those, and we end up with the same units of kilograms per meter per second squared, which we now know are the units of pressure. So when we look at Bernoulli's equation, we now realize that each term in the equation has units of pressure, and of course that makes sense. Now let's talk about fluid flow. We have the equation where the, the amount of volume per unit time that passes by a given point in a pipe, for example, is equal to the cross-sectional area of the pipe times the velocity of the fluid. Well, let's find out what the units are on the left side of the equation and the units on the right side of the equation, and again, of course, they should be the same. So, dvdt, the amount of volume per unit time, it will have units of volume in the numerator, which is meters cubed, and time in the denominator, which is second. So here you can see that the units for fluid flow is cubic meters per second, the amount of fluid that will flow by a given point. Now what about A times V? A is the cross-section area of the pipe, V is the velocity of the fluid flowing through the pipe. So A times V units for area, that would of course be square meters, meters squared, and for velocity we get meters per second times meter per second. And if we simplify that, we end up with the units of meters cubed per second. Again, that's the same as what we had over here, the amount of water in volume per unit time. So those are the units that we see a lot in fluids. They involve primarily pressure. In Bernoulli's equation, every term involves the units of pressure. In fluid flow, we have cubic meters per time, cubic meters per time, just like we showed you. And that's how that works.